it's great to be here. I am um, right off the bat, folks. Uh, much like everyone in the Wild West, I am a homosexual. I, uh, <laughs> I am I am uh, I'm gay and I, I bring it up right up front because uh, sometimes people don't believe uh, it's true. I did a show recently where a woman comes up to me and she goes, "You know, Will, I don't buy it. I don't buy that you're gay. Like I'm doing it for the parking spaces." <laughs> she pushed on. She goes, "Here's the thing, Will. You don't really read as gay." And to that, I said the only thing I could say at the time. I said, "Well, you've never seen me read." <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> we'll read later. <laughs> oh. What a page turner. I love books. <laughs> The butler did it. It was a mystery. It was a really mystery. It's always the butler. <laughs> Guys, as a gay man, uh, a lot of people want to know about the coming out experience. That's foreign to most people, so they ask me a lot. And uh, I'm here to educate, so I'll tell you. Uh, my coming out wasn't as hard as most people think. It always, they always think it's like a tumultuous time. Uh, my mom was the first person I told. Her. She goes, I know. It's <laughs> like, did my mom just call me a faggot? But then, <laughs> My dad, I was nervous about telling my dad, and he was the last person I told him. It, it was a late night conversation, and I put it off, and I put it off. I finally tell my dad, I finally say the words that I need to say. And this is what he says verbatim, I swear to God, he goes, Oh, thank God, I thought you were going to ask me for money. <laughs> actually true because being gay is super expensive. It's a, it's a lifestyle I can't keep up with. It's half shirts done by themselves, you know. Um, you would think half the shirt, half the price, but it's full price. It's a racket. It's ridiculous. It's made of mesh. It's like less material. It's not even a full shirt. It's ridiculous. My dad is a great guy. I, I just I went to a strip club recently with my dad. Uh, I went so I, I'm doing manly things. And I, I, I went down to I went down. Uh, I was the best man for my brother at his wedding. Uh, we did the typical bachelor party thing. We went down to a uh, lady strip club. I don't know if that's what you call it, but that's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> my brother he buys me a lady lap dance again. I don't know if that's what you call it, but that's what I'm gonna call it. And uh, I have to oblige because he's paid for it. And uh, so the stripper, she's about to start in. I have a moment of crisis. Do I tell her that I'm gay? I don't want her to feel bad. That nothing is gonna happen down there. <laughs> so I tell her. So thank you. Um, so she starts into the dance, and I'm commenting on tattoos. We're talking about Downton Abbey. Uh, <laughs> things you do with strippers, I guess. I don't know. She's, she's, she's doing the dance, and she turns to me. I swear to God, she's grinding in my crotch. She turns to me. And she goes, "I'm so sorry. I have to take my top off. It's protocol." <laughs> Is OSHA here? I don't. <laughs> It is your time to shine. Her name is Sparkle, that's why I said it. Um, <laughs> uh, this wasn't her real name. <laughs> she's, she's continuing to dance. She's in what I believe is reverse cowgirl position. Uh, swings herself around to cowgirl position. She says this to me. She goes, Oh my god, I feel so bad for you. I was like, Nope, that's not how this dynamic works. <laughs> you don't feel bad for me. I feel bad for you. <laughs> Technically, in society standards, she's the only one I can feel bad for. It goes stripper, gay guy, gay guy, and bravo. That's how it works, folks. <laughs> That's the hierarchy. That's how it works. There's two songs of boredom on my part. I, uh, <laughs> I recently moved, guys. I moved to a uh, kind of an old fashioned area. It wasn't, it wasn't it's like, if they still put their trash cans out to mark their spaces, that kind of area. And uh, I was standing on the front porch with my landlady. And, uh, neighbor, this old woman across the way, she comes, she brings us flowers, me, me and my boyfriend at the time, brings us flowers, which is a nice neighborly gesture. Uh, as she hands us the flowers, our landlady speaks up and goes, uh, now you guys, uh, put those in a vase. You do have a vase, right? And this old woman, I swear to God, leans in and goes, oh, I bet they have a lot of vases. <laughs> What the 
fuck is that shit? That is the most offensive thing anyone has ever said to me. So I spoke up right away, I was like, uh, listen, uh, old bitch, uh, we don't have a lot of bases. We have a lot of vases. <laughs> yeah, 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 ye